position at the moment. Yes, so plenty of wriggle room for the rest of the field at the moment with the quite fastest time on the course, a, a 110. And there's an early, oh, that was careless early touch as well. Goodness me. Yeah, gate one is set right on the lip of that drop. So you really want to do a lot of work early to get across to gate two. But some of the athletes, as uh, Minnesota just got caught in that trap there, coming back too early. Good spin above gate six there. She fights back, but she's getting a little bit caught. But good work. So smooth entry, leads with the hips into gate eight, runs it around. She That's a great spin. She has experienced a final before. She was in the Junior World uh, Finals back in... Oh, there's another touch. Just as she got the time up to, she was she was 1.2 quicker. But now another touch will put her behind once again. That was the best gate 11 we've seen so far. The speed that she carried out of there should help her. But she chose to stay on the, on the left-hand side, on the downstream side, going from uh, gate 12 to 13, which made her slide out a little bit. I'm surprised she chose that option. She's a very accomplished uh, switcher. Not sure that was the right option there. But that was a brilliant move into gate 15. Back Whoa. on the right. And she is well up, 4.3 seconds up. So the Russian is on an absolute charge to the finish now. With, uh, with four seconds of penalties, this is a very fast time. Yeah, she just turned back a little bit early on gate 18, then had to wait. And that meant she slid and wasn't able to carry her speed into 1920. So will that impact on the time? I think she's going to go into the lead, but could hurt at the end of the final. Oh, that is a very fast. That is faster than Anna Satilla's time in qualifying.